Our row crops are all peanuts and cotton, and we, we do graze some cattle. I went into partnership with my dad in 1972. We were all conventional till, and we'd go through the process of, uh, you know, fixing washes in the spring and uh, plowing up terraces and cleaning out waterways and braiding uh, herbicides, run field cultivators, get everything all pretty, get it planted, and then we get a quick two or three inch rain and it would trench everything up and fill up the terrace channels and you know it was just a constant issue with trying to move soil back up the hill and, and keep everything in place. We decided that uh, we were going to try conservation tillage, strip tillage. Even if we took a yield decrease, if we could eliminate some of the work we were doing on moving dirt, uh, that it wouldn't cost us any money. But that seed bed was always, you know, a foot to 18 inches wide after we ran a ripper and a, and a conditioner. When we started planting in the heavy residue, we saw we were gonna let the rye get big and, and roll it down. We worked through several different uh, strip-till machines. Some work better than others. There's always challenges when you don't know what you're doing, but at this point, we were losing less soil. It was improving uh, erosion. We will plant a cover crop in the fall. And, and the critical thing is to get the cover crop planted early to get growth on it. You need to get it planted and up just as quick as you can after you harvest your crop. Uh, we make a concerted effort to do that. Well, I mean, we have a plan to do that. We like for it to get as much biomass as we can. The more biomass, the better it rolls down. It lays down better. We'll roll the cover crop down with the ripper. We run the ripper and and roll it down and spray it all at one time. Try to do that four to six weeks ahead of the planter. Kill the cover crop, have it laying on the ground. Uh, bank moisture from that time period until we plant. and. Uh, and, and we'll normally have moisture to, to plant and, and get everything germinated, uh, start planting the first of May. I mean, we, we like what we see. Uh, it, it, soil quality has really improved. Erosion has, uh, is almost non-existent. We've been doing this basically 23 years and, and we've made a lot of mistakes. We probably have not made all the mistakes yet but we have made a lot and we know a lot of things you don't do or, or that we wouldn't do again. And we do, we, we think it'd be a real advantage to, to anybody who wants to start this to be able to sit down with somebody who's actually done it.